Hello on YouTube, this is Lewis Santa Trans, aka Elm25, aka Lewis JM. And today I'm just gonna show you another amusement park in a video game. This time it's from Overwatch. It's the it's one of the best um, multiplayer first person shooter games out there. I showed you one time the um, the arcade in in the uh, Japan area, but this time they've added a new um, map, not too a long time ago. It's called Blizzard Road. Now basically it's a theme park based on the Blizzard franchise itself. Games such as uh, Hearthstone and uh, and Starcraft and such. So I'm just going to show you a quick tour of the map. What they got and uh, and see what, what they can use. As you can see they really done have done a good job making a theme park esque environment. Oh, also, just to let you know, I'm playing as Tracer, so it makes much more sense. They have here the Hearthstone Tavern, which is like a little restaurant area. At least I think it's a restaurant. You can't get in because it is a, <clears throat> a red area map. I choose the blue for reasons. And then we have here the Wizard Sanctum Magic Show. I'm certain that it was like one of those little shows that they got set up around here. Still, interesting to check it out. Let's see if we can find any other. Forgive me if I'm trying to look through the area. Ancient Curious, huh? Must be one of those uh, shop areas. Oh, you can hear the voices from the background. Alright, so let's check out this castle and see what they got. I gotta admit. This sort of reminds me so much of the... Ooh, what's this? I gotta make sure I don't lose anything. Last and Found Vikings. Oh, but Last and Found section. How, um... Fitting. Giving that Vikings pil... Pillage, uh... Villages. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this big castle. Which I'm pretty sure was like a Disney-esque theme. I actually like these statues. Pretty unique. Anyways, moving on. So there's like plenty of places to go to. There's like the Flight Duskwood, which is I think is closed, I guess. I'm trying to figure out figure out if there are any rides in this area. I know that there's one. The Frog Deep Mine. I got him. Ugh. Okay, it's getting difficult trying to find rides around here. Forgive me, guys. Oh, this is like a little restaurant area. Oh, good thing I caught sight of that. So this is basically a backdrop, but it does show everything and everything about the theme park in general. You got like a, a very extreme roller coaster down there. You have a Ferris wheel in the background. I really like the whole loop-de-loops. I think that's a drop ride, I believe it is. Give me a second, I think. Yeah, that's a drop ride. Sorry. Oh, and I also like this. A shark being hung on a, on a little on a little stunt. Reminds me so much of the uh, old classic Jaws ride down in Universal. Big props for that. Alright, so, let's see. This is interesting. This is like a StarCraft, um, attraction. At least I think it's a StarCraft attraction. Give me a second while I try to re reorganize. Yeah, this is StarCraft. And this is the blue spawn area. And as you can see, they got, like, arcades here too. It's not like the arcades done at the, uh, Japan map. These are different. You got the um, the M A M Z dunk. I think that's what it's called. M dunk. M dunk. I don't know. It's a basketball game. What what else do you expect? And then you have your little air hockey tables here. Pretty cool. And then you have your little ski balls. Uh, nothing else in particular. If they added like the arcades from the Japan map, it would have been a big-time arcade game. 
Though, I would imagine the players shooting at the games because I see my share of players trying to destroy video games just be, just for fun. Not easy trying to um, get through with it. Still, worth a shot. I think these are like uh, merchandising st store around here. Got like rides that are meant to base on characters like Overlord Transport. I'm trying to suck myself into this thing. Allure, retake your home world. It's gotta be like one of those uh, 3D-esque shooters or something, I cannot tell. I like the StarCraft logo on this thing. Oh my god, that is so, so nostalgic. Just like Ready Player One. Oh! <laughs> I'm still trying to work my way around this place. My god. I can imagine how many... what they do around here. I mean, just just the way they set this up. There is no way that they would actually try to... Huh, what is this? Nexus Experience. Okay, so that's near the hub. Wait a second. Is this the... Hang on for a second, I need to see this. Yeah, it looks like a haunted mansion. Like one of those scare zone areas. Give me a second while I try to figure it out. Okay, this looks like storage. <clears throat> I should have re reworked the groundwork around here. Hang on, I tried to find like a like the right entrance just to see where I need to go. My God, this is definitely like like a classic haunted mansion ride if I ever see one. Just give me a moment while I try to. We work my way around. It's like a maze in this place. Um, okay, I think I'm at the right location. I guess. Maybe. All right. I think it's best to like we work the tracks here. I think this is how you get in. Or is that how you get out? Anyways, let's just take a look around, follow the tracks. My god, they have some deep ambience in this place. Makes you wonder, huh? What's missing is like animatronics, some movable objects, scare zones at least. I mean, just something to keep these people entertained. Must be the throne room. Let's see, is there anything else around here that I should look into? I'm just trying to soak everything in. I mean, I never really thought it would be this uh, amazing. I don't think that I don't think actual ride works in here, but I am just the only one trying to figure this shit out. So, whatever. All right, Highland Terrace. Got to be a cafe. Yeah, this is definitely a cafe or a gift shop. Cafe or gift shop? I don't know. Whoa, I like how I like these hollow menu options. Kinda gives you a good choice. I think that's all I can do here. I mean, I'm might be certain that there would have been more stuff. 
Give me a second while I try to figure this shit out. Okay. Nah, I think that's all. That's all I can do. Oh wait, that looks like a hawk. Maybe I have to get it back up there? Give me a second if I find the steps again. Here we go. Hmm. It's like you can't get it from up there. Um, I think I will try to figure it out one way or the other. But you know what? I just think I should just end it with um with a good backdrop of the whole place. Yeah. I think that's perfect. So yeah, I think that's it with this little tour. I wish they would have expanded a little more. I mean you just only show one section of the park. You see like plenty of stuff here, like the coasters and the Ferris wheels and whatnot, but still it would have been better off if you would have have like either work rides that actually work in this map or not. Now I am doing this in like a custom game just so I don't want to have to get involved in play having players play around with me. But regardless of it, it does have its uniqueness. And the aesthetics here, whether it be from like the insides of establishments or the uh, backdrops of these places, it's quite amazing. Definitely a good recommendation. Now, would I want to see more of this if they actually make a Blizzard World in the in real life? I would like to see it. I mean, we got plenty of other stuff from Disney and Universal and Busch Gardens and Six Flags and whatnot. Why not add this? It is just a thought, of course. So, I'm hoping maybe they might actually do it. But anyways, that is it for this quick little tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you all next time. Hashtag, where are the good cartoons? I swear, this is just a bit, a bit short-lived. <laughs> Should have been more.